I can tell you from experience, and I've been involved in a lot of training and experiments involving FSTs, field sobriety tests, I can tell you that even in the most ideal conditions, they're very difficult. So we've done experiments where we've had uh, young athletic people who were in tennis shoes in the middle of the day uh, on a very even surface where the people were very relaxed. Even under these circumstances, they're very challenging, very difficult tests to perform. But when somebody gets pulled over for DUI and they're asked to do these tests, it's not ideal circumstances. Quite often they're very tired, they're exhausted, they're scared, they're nervous, they're intimidated by the police officers. Very often they're asked to perform these tests on a surface that's not even, that's on a slope, that's rocky. Oftentimes it's dark, it's cold, it's windy, there's traffic whizzing by, there's flashing lights. Oftentimes people are not in good footwear. If you try to perform these tests in high-heeled shoes or boots or flip-flops or barefooted, then it's much more difficult. They, they really designed to be conducted in tennis shoes or soft sole shoes. Moreover, police very often administer these tests incorrectly. Now there is a standard protocol that's prescribed by the federal government, by the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration, for how police are supposed to explain and administer and score these tests. And we find that all the time they don't do it correctly. Sometimes they're not really trained. They don't even understand the protocols. I'll give you an example. We had a case recently where a person was asked to do the one leg stand test. And that's where you're asked to put your hands at your side and lift one foot six inches off the ground and count one 1,000, two 1,000 to, to 30. Now the officer had this person do the test, but asked the person to close their eyes and tilt their head back. Now that's not how you administer the test. That's not how it's done. And that's impossible, virtually impossible for anybody to do. So when you put all of this together, the field sobriety tests in most DUI cases really are designed for the suspect to fail. And to the extent that you did fail these exercises, quite often it's not because of alcohol. It's because of the adverse conditions under which you took the tests and the incompetent and sloppy and improper administration of them by the police officers. The upshot of all of this is that if you do get stopped for DUI, don't agree to take these exercises. Politely decline to take them. And if you did already take the field sobriety tests and you've been charged with DUI, a good DUI attorney can often go to court cross-examine the police officers, bring out all of these factors, and ultimately get your charge reduced or dismissed.